Hey everybody, it's Crypto Putter. Um, you guys know that I put out videos from time to time about projects that I'm in. Um, I you know, put out stuff about my golf game every now and then, or you know, wherever I've traveled to in Europe or what have you. Um, I've never had to make a video like this, and I don't like making them, but I think that it's um, pertinent because <clears throat> there are several people. Uh, livelihoods that are at stake with this and also who have who have been in their opinion been harmed and i'm not going to take that away from anybody but um i made a couple of videos previously about shout bank and um when i first started and then i think it was a couple weeks later you know after my first transaction with them and everything and how everything was going and it was going extremely well uh, very well. I had initiated my investment with them with about $2,400, something like that. And then when the key coin came out, uh, and that was in the beginning of February, when key coin came out, um, wasn't immediately, but very shortly thereafter, I got uh, seven key coin and I paid uh, 90.04 Hong Kong dollar with it, which equaled out to like Seven coins, I think, cost me $85, $87, something like that. And I kept seeing it go up gradually, just like everybody else did. Um, I'm going to take you to my um, interruption of interaction with Xiao Bank. I would say probably, for me, May 4th, so about a week or so ago. Um, that was the last time that I did a withdrawal and which I'll show you, I can show you the withdrawal, um, that actually went into my wallet. Now with shell bank, as you are aware, those who are invested that's watching this, when you do a withdrawal from, you know, uh, of funds from them, when you're in the bonds, which is what I was in, um, you do a withdrawal gives you a transaction hash and then shortly thereafter they would actually send the funds over to your wallet well for me and unfortunately because their site again is down you can't get into it which i'll show you here in just a moment um it shows the transaction the two transactions that i made um i think one was on the ninth and one was on the 11th no one was on the seventh, the other was on the ninth. And as of today, it being the 11th, I still don't have any funds. It shows the transaction on their site uh, where I initiated a withdrawal, but they haven't sent the funds over to my wallet. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is show you some information that has been sent out, one by Xiao Bank, and then a Telegram group that was created by people who um, are basically fed up with the lack of communication. Um, now, if they have done anything nefarious with, you know, getting their sites that, you know, because Shao Bank it was Shao Bank finance, and then it went to two or three other sites, and each one kept getting shut down. Um, Shao Bank is saying it was because of these people in this telegram group, I don't know it to be true. I don't know it to be false. I don't know. That's just what they're saying. Um, but there was, a, there was a, let me hear, let me share my screen. There was a, um, um, there was a memo put out by uh, Xiao Bank at about 1.30 or something this morning. And I'll show that to you. Here it is. Basically, they were just saying that uh, they still continue to face significant cyber th security threats. And they're saying that the threats are coming from this Telegram group right here. Um, and basically what they're saying that these people are doing um, is that they're contacting the domain registers and they're basically saying that Shao Bank is not legit, so on and so forth. So these domain registers are kicking them 
kicking Xiaobank's new website out. So it'll be up for a little bit and then it'll get dropped by the domains. So what they were asking is for investors, people like myself, and if you're watching and you've invested, people like you, they would like for us to contact them and um, try to help them, you know, say that Xiao Bank is not nefarious at this point. A couple of things that I have an issue with, with um, them doing this. First of all, I don't understand why you would put out the person or persons that you think are doing this. Um, it just it just seems odd to me. I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It just seems odd. Um, but the other thing is is that despite these attacks, please rest assured, Shao Bank remains committed to supporting all clients. This this statement right here, I have an issue with. The reason I have an issue is because when I did my two transactions on two different days, and I could see the hashtag where. I made the withdrawal from their site and they never sent the money over to my wallet. I created a ticket, a support ticket, which is what you're supposed to do. And they have never responded to me. And there's other people that are in this one here because it's just, it's just a, a telegram group of people who are basically fed up with the lack of communication the lack of being able to access their funds, um, and they've they've just been fed up with it. I'm creating this video um, not necessarily on behalf of these people, um, but they deserve to have a voice, just as much as I do, just as much as you do, and and if. I'm, I'm almost certain that since Xiao Bank is going to say that this group has done these things with these um, domain registers, then I'm certain that Xiao Bank is probably watching this channel. And if you're watching this channel, my hope is, is that you will... Um, Respond to the support tickets, if nothing else. There's a, there's a couple of people that says that they've been dealing with Xiao Bank since November of last year. And they've deleted his account and his upline uh, will no longer communicate with them. Um, if the guy has a valid point, which I'm sure that he probably does, otherwise he wouldn't have uh, created a support ticket, um, then there shouldn't be an issue. Uh, there's another one from April who has sent in several support tickets. Every one of them were closed, they, and he never got a response from any of them. There was a gentleman on here who had a, um, you know, with Xiao Bank being a bank, so they have all kinds of different, um, you know, you can do loans, you can do bonds, you can buy the key coin, you know, their crypto coin, you know, all these other type of investment avenues. Um, he had a loan forced on him. And, you know, there was some information. There's information that he posted in here, if I can find it. There's so much information um, on here. This is this is going to be the end of it right here for, for this particular gentleman. But I want to show you what he had said. You know, he had, he had asked. And I'll show you what he's saying the result was. So, so this person right here submitted, um, he, he got a letter. Here, let me go back and show you this. So welcome back to Xiao Bank. You previously applied for a loan. He said he never applied for a loan. We appreciate your interest in, in the services, so on and so forth. He said the maximum loan amount could be 3.2 million HDK, which, <laughs> excuse me, uh, you can do the the conversion on that says one HDK equals 13 US cents. So whatever that dollar amount is. And so basically they were offering him this per se loan. And so 
he was asking about this. Yes, I'm interested. He said he was interested. Interested. Key word, interested. I want to know one thing. And he asked, asked this question. The second one was he wanted to know the conditions of this loan. Those are all things that are, you know, if you're going to do um, business with any bank, you're going to be some of the things that you're going to you're going to ask. Um, I do want to bring up this one here. Please contact him. He, he once again, here it is. He's asking to be contacted as soon as possible because he saw a negative balance in his account and he never gave authorization to advance in the credit. In other words, he never said, hey, yeah, I want to do this loan. He even submitted his, his mobile number so somebody could call and communicate with him. And then later on, that's where this one kind of comes in. And, and I have to believe that it's uh, pretty disturbing to me. I tried to zoom into it. You can't. But I'll read it to you here in the red. It says, your credit account is overdue. Kindly settle the outstanding balance promptly to avoid penalties and maintain your credit rating. All right. How is that possible if he never gave authorization or agreed to the loan to begin with? I, I just, I don't understand that. Maybe I'm not supposed to understand that, but I just, I just don't get it. And so, you know, I was asking these questions and I, and I put a, um, I put a long little post, which I'll read to you in here. Um, where'd it go? Uh, damn, I'm freezing again. Some reason or another, I guess my telegram is acting weird on me. So you have to forgive me for a moment. I'm going to see if I can get that to straighten itself out. <clears throat> but I'll turn. I'll turn to uh, another little different topic. So, since all of this has been transpiring, uh, especially the past couple of days, when you went to the Telegram uh, channel for Shao Bank official, you always seen. Um, thumbnails, if you will, for join online Zoom session. And it would have this person or uh, let's see if there's going to be, if there's another one. Nope, there's not another one that I can see. Well, yeah, there's more here. Um, so he's the only one that's actually posting himself to YouTube. But there would be other individuals like this this particular one, uh, Ult Unlimited Freedom Network. Uh, his name is Vaughn. Seems to be a pretty nice guy, and I'm sure he doesn't intentionally try to do anything nefarious, but, you know, who knows who, you know? But I watched his video, as you can see here, and the one thing that he did, and he's done it in most of his videos, is the very first probably three quarters worth of his video, he talked about the intricacies of Xiao Bank, you know, the partners, um, who they're uh, who they're doing business with, some of their um, internal partners that they have. Talked about the key coin and, um, you know, things of that nature. The one thing he never really said, though, was, um, you know, I have uh, I've made some withdrawals, but even mine right now are pending and I'm sure it's going to he never talked about that. Um, he never uh, talked about um, the loans, you know, none of that. Now, and I'm not saying he did anything wrong. I'm not saying that at all. And Vaughn, if you watch this, please understand, I'm not trying to throw you under the bus. It may seem like it, but I am not. Um, but his video, which, which I found very, very odd, all the team leaders, if you will, that they've got in this, you know, the the, pe the people who build a team underneath them with their affiliate link. He is the only one in the past 18 hours, um, or if you, should, if you could say um, 24 hours, um, that has put out a video. And it was about everything you need to know, not what's, it's always what's going right, not what's going wrong. And the stuff that is going wrong is what the investors need to, or the investors are worried about and, and want to talk about. How is this being fixed? So on and so forth. 
Now, this gentleman, I, I haven't even watched his video yet. Um, I'm assuming that this is in Russian, but, you know, I don't speak the language, so I don't know, but I'm assuming that it is. And, um, sir, whoever you may be right here, um, you know, I'm, I'm just using you as reference because you just put out a video an hour ago. And, um, you know, I'm, you know, Shao Bank scam. You know, I don't know what, what this means underneath it. Um, and I wish I could understand what you were saying so I could listen to you. Um, but, you know, these people here and this one here, they're all promoting something that you can't even get access to. So I'm going to open up a new tab and you see here, this is the most recent and it's supposed to be active website that I should be able to get into, log into and see my account. All right. Excuse me. But as you see, my little thing here spinning, wanting to open up this site. I'm going to give it a few minutes. And unless something has changed in the last 20 minutes, this site will not open up. My whole thing is, which I've spoke to a bunch of people who who are in Shao Bank is that first of all, as intelligent as Shao Bank is in putting this all together and whoever their infrastructure team is, which it has to be pretty vast, because if you've ever seen their website, there's a plethora of information in there. There's all kinds of training YouTube videos out there that are within the site. I would think that you should be able to have a website created and stayed up um, so people can have access to it. And there you go. It can't be reached, which I knew that was going to happen, but I wanted you, you folks to see it for your own selves. So I think my telegram came back up now. Nope, it's still down. So I wish I could have showed it to you, but there is just a lot of people who are extremely concerned. They think that um, Xiao Bank is either taking the money and run or whatever the case may be. If there's, if there's anybody out there uh, my Telegram username is at CryptoPutter, please, and I'm probably going to get inundated with this, and that's fine. But if you have gotten money transferred to your wallet within the last 24 hours, please let me know. If, if Especially if it's happened within the past few hours, please let me know. Um, I really wanted this, this uh, project to succeed. I thought that it was extremely uh, bullish and I liked um, everything that it was doing and everything that it was about. Um, and out of the 2,400 that I had put in there, I think I got out maybe 1,300 uh, since February. So it was working fine. My key coins, they were working fine. Oh, the thing about key coins is, is after everything started happening the way that it did, um, Keycoin shot up, and, and I can't even tell you how many tens of thousands of percentage that it went up. And what I mean by that is, is like I said, when I purchased it, it was 90.04 per coin. And the last time I remember looking at it, I want to say it was like 57,000. Um, and there's a lot of people that I've talked to who know more about crypto than I ever will is that looks like a money grab. And the reason for it, and the reason that they say this is, is because they sent out an email to, to everybody about um, this new offer that they have, where when you bought bonds, is say, for instance, you bought one, they call it KCN bond. You bought one KCN bond, 
you would get one key coin. And if you bought two, you would get maybe 10, or if you bought three, you would get 50 or whatever it was. They had it tiered all the way up to where the more money you spent in this KCN bond, you would get coin for it. Well, naturally, because of the the uh, project's volatility, be, you know, it being exploited or whatever you want to call it, people wanted to get in because, oh, let me let me get this. This is a great deal, and a, a ton of people slammed a bunch of money into this. And naturally, when they're giving all these coins out for people getting these bonds, that's going to shoot it up. If you can't cash them out, what good is it? Because the site's not working um, for whatever reason. You can call it nefarious people keep shutting down the sites or whatever it is. I don't know. Uh, let me see if I can get Telegram to work again. Uh, let's see here. Oh, so before when I was able to get go to the site, this is what popped up. This is this is me posting this. So when I went to this site, which is the site that you were supposed to be able to get into to log into and see your account, this is what was coming up. So, and the reason that I had done that is because uh, somebody had put in here um that they had just um gotten a withdrawal from Xiao Bang. And I was like, well that's pretty funny that you you know you just got um a withdrawal because I can't even get into the site. So anyway, so I thought well let me go up there and, and try it out. Um so uh there was one other thing that I wanted to show you real quick. Um, oh, this is what I was telling you, that gentleman who had um, submitted information saying, hey, you know, I didn't even uh, authorize this. You know, he wanted his account to be, um, they said it was overdue and they wanted to settle the balance. And Well, how are you supposed to settle a balance for something that you never authorized for in, 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 to begin with? Um I don't know what is what. I don't know who is who is right, who is wrong. All I know is that I'm putting this video out because somebody needs to um, speak for the people who um, either don't have uh, the ability to get on YouTube or nobody's communicating with them and support and so on. And I just think that you know, this is this is the right thing to do. There is one I was going to show if it's still in here. Yeah, this one right here. So this person, um, DHT, um, these are the support tickets that he created. Hold on a second. I want to show this. One. Yeah, this is it. Come on, Brian. So you can see here the dates of these tickets. And they're all closed with no response. And he even put one out on, it looks like May 8th here, that was still pending, you know, for them to review. But nothing. And if I could get into shout, if I could actually get into the site, I would show you mine where I posted it. And all I asked was, is, hey, listen, you know, I made two transactions. The money hasn't been transferred over to my wallet yet. You know, can tell, somebody tell me what's going on. I get nothing. So I hope that this, you know, does sh shed some light on things that are going on. Um I preface this by saying also, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research, uh, definitely, please. But I've also always said in, in my videos, or I've tried to anyway, but I'll definitely say it in this one, never invest in crypto with more than what you can afford to lose. Um, 
I know of people who have gotten second mortgages on their house. They've gotten loans. They've taken away from their kids' college fund. Maybe they've messed with their grocery money or their light bill money or whatever. This is extremely, crypto is extremely high risk. It's, 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 you could say, you could call it the equivalent of going to a casino. Um, some win, some lose. I was winning for a little bit. And you, what you see is what you get. Um, I do hope that this uh, sheds light uh, for some people who have, um, you know, had unanswered questions or were just missing out on some information. Um, I, I hope this helps. Uh, like I said, I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus by no means. Uh, that's not my intention. My intention is just to get the word out so uh, people can understand exactly what's going on. Um, there are a lot of, of course, very, very upset people. And I think a majority of them are probably just upset before the lack of communication. Um, a couple of one. Two other quick things, and then I'll, I'll pretty much end this. Um, one is in their, in Xiao Bank's official uh, telegram, which is this one right here. What you used to see on this and see you have all these people um, still doing um, webinars, if you will, you know, uh, this is supposed to be for May 10th. Um, this one, uh, May 10th, uh, I showed you Vaughn's. Um, but the thing that got me the most, and see, this guy's promoting a book, May 9th. Uh, talk to him. Um, is they used to have, I don't know, I bet you they probably took it all down. Uh, let me see here. See, these are all the different YouTube channels. Um, this one, I believe, that's Chinese, I think. Hell, I don't know. Um, this one here is Spanish. Italian. Um, when was this one for? This one was for May 8th. They're doing all these webinars, and, and this is when, I guess you could say, the nefariousness or exploitation, whatever the case was, this is when it happened. So they went to this domain, got kicked out. This was their main. Um, this is the one that they were going to. It doesn't do anything. Um, let's see here. Pretty sure it's not. Uh, yeah, this, this, I, I would be surprised if this one opens. Um, if it hasn't opened by, by now, it's not going to. Um, but there were, I want to see if they've got them in here still. They had a contest a while back going on for people to take a picture of their bonds that they purchased and upload them, I believe it was to this site or to this Telegram page um, showing that they had bought bonds. And it was for a contest of some sort, I'm sure. And um, But I also thought that there was another um, Telegram channel where people were interacting and so on. Excuse me. That doesn't exist anymore. And even in this one, you can't communicate in it. You can't ask any questions. You can't upload anything unless you're core with them, which I would imagine is something like, you know, like this. Um, you know, you're, you're not, uh, you're not going to get inf information from it. It's, it's like dead, uh, which I, I just don't, I don't understand if, if you're wanting to support your community, um, why you wouldn't, um, and you have a support department, apparently, why you wouldn't 
have people be able to ask questions and answer them in, in, in as best as possible. And if nothing else, if you're if it's too inundated with questions and stuff, have five or six people um, pick out you know somebody and direct message them and you know interact that way. I don't understand the lack of communication or the lack of structure with um, helping their their investors. I, I just I don't get that. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention and. You can call this a show, whatever you want. It, it doesn't matter. But I also do want to help people uh, succeed and in, in win in this. So I am um, I am part of um, a development team. I'm I'm not a developer. I'm I'm barely a YouTuber. Uh, crypto. I, I just this is just something that I like to do. I don't know a whole lot about it, but. I'm going to try and give everybody the best answer that I possibly can. What I will tell you is that a very dear friend of mine that I know um, that I've known for quite a while is creating um, this project, uh, Falcon. Uh, it's called Falcon X. And this is going to be uh, a DEX. It's going to be faster than um, Radium. Uh, it's going to rival, if not even do better, we think, than Jupiter. And uh, of course, you see here they got a pre-sale right now on um, on pink sale, and um, it is complete. All oh, this is and to me, this is huge. In which I wish all projects would do this. All the um, all the development team is doxed and KYC, and all the contracts are multi-sig. It's going to take at least three signatures for anything to. Um, to transact within the within the project that makes it extremely solid um if you're into something like that i would highly recommend getting into this you can get into the um into the uh pink sale with it um and this is going to be what the uh oh it's coming up soon okay we had so our we're in the middle of the pink sale right now which um, pink sale will end, I believe, next Tuesday. And 48 hours after that, the DEX will actually launch. You'll be able to, stay, uh, to stake the uh, Falcon X token. Uh, you'll also be able, if you have Tugger uh, or Tugger Wood, which is T-U-G-E-R, and then W-O-D-S, that's a meme coin, you'll be able to stake that and also USDT uh, and USDC. Um, you can see where they're at right now. Just want to put this out there. I believe this is going to be an extremely huge win, um, especially, well, I mean, I'm in it. I'm in it deep. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys about that one. But uh, as far as Bank goes, um, I don't want to say it's dead, but I believe that it is. Uh, I think it's just going to be a matter of time. Um, I hope I'm wrong. I wholeheartedly hope I'm wrong. And when I, when they actually get a website up and running that, uh, we can get in there and we can go back to, um, uh, business as usual and that, um, they start doing what they preach to do. Um, if you find this helpful, please hit the subscribe. Most of all, share this video because there's a lot of investors out there. I don't have a very big channel. I think it's like 355 subscribers, something like that. Um, share this, get this word out. I think it's important. Um, but getting the uh, the little messages that we're getting from Shao Bank, which seems like one every other day or this one that came in today was at like 1.30 in the morning. I'm in central time in the United States. I was dead asleep. So um, anyway, if once again, if you find this helpful, share, like, subscribe, click the bell. Anytime that I put something up, um, you'll, get, you'll know about it. But anyway, God bless. Um, and I hope that... Uh, Somehow or another, something great comes out of a tragedy. But um, peace.